Have you ever woken up with regret? You've woken up and you've just stayed in bed for hours until it's late. You've woken up late and you're regretful, you regret it. Or have you ever woken up unenergized, tired, groggy in the morning, as if you have no energy first thing when you wake up and then for the rest of the day you feel guilty you always feel guilty for how you wake up in the morning but despite that despite the fact that you feel guilty and you know that what you're doing is unproductive unhealthy you make no change you still get up late you still wake up unenergized and you still stay in bed for hours with regret if that sounded at all relatable to you then you and I were both in the exact same position. Yet I'm not anymore. And you don't have to either. First things first, how are you? I hope you've been good and I hope things have been alright. Maybe no one has asked you that. So yes, I used to be in that exact very scenario. That's how I was able to describe it in such depth. Because I used to wake up every single morning at like 10pm. No, not 10pm. At like 10am. And I'd stay in bed until 12, midday. Midday, I'd still be in bed. It got so bad to the point that my dad just got used to it. Me waking up midday. And now when I told him that I was going to wake up at 6, he looked at me and laughed and it was like, yeah, nah, that's not happening. The past month, I've been waking up consistently at 6am. And a couple months before then, I was waking up consistently before 7am. You know, 6.30, 6.40. But now, I wake up at 6 consistently every single time before my alarm and I get up and turn off my alarm I don't need to set 20 alarms every 5 minutes to make sure I get up I just set the one and I get up and I press it off I don't press snooze and go back to bed so how? how did I go from someone who could only get up at 12pm to getting up at 6am first things first getting up at 6am without a purpose without a thing that you want to do without a goal, is not productive. You see, when I first started getting up early, I started getting up at 6.30, you know, I got up at 6.40, got up, and I had nothing to do. I wanted to go out record, but it was dark outside, so I'd just stay inside and, and I'd go on my phone. That's not productive, that's still not healthy. You may as well get more sleep. <laughs> that, that wasn't helpful. Every time I get up, I make sure that I'm accomplishing a goal that I have set for myself. Do you want to be more productive? Do you want to be healthier? Set a goal for you for a reason to wake up early. You will actually more likely get up when you have something to do. And also it just makes your morning actually feel productive. Because there have been times where I've gotten up at 6am and it's been pitch black outside and I can't go out and record because it's dark outside. And then I just sit inside and go on my phone until 8 I still feel terrible, I still feel unenergized, I still don't feel good because I haven't done anything productive. I got up early, yeah, but then I didn't do anything. So what is it that you want to do? Do you want to be more productive? Do you want to read that book that you've been meaning to get around to? Do you want to go to the gym? Do you want to start exercising? Do you want to make yourself a proper healthy breakfast? Set a goal for yourself that you can do in the morning. Best thing is a habit. Habits are built best and consistently in the morning hours of the day. What you also want to do is create a plan. Plan out your day. From the moment that you wake up, what are you gonna do? You see, there is a formula that I follow, specifically, that has helped me miraculously get up early and follow this sort of morning routine consistently. And that is something known as the 20-20-20 rule. The first 20 minutes of your morning, from the moment you wake up, should be in silence. This is the time for you to spend quality moments, the quality 20 minutes of your life when you first wake up, on silence, on good productive habits, such as meditation, gratitude journaling, reflection, prayers. It's a time for you to connect with your inner self, with your purpose in life, your goals, your aspirations. So spend the first 20 minutes in silence, meditating, Gratitude journaling where you're writing down 10 things you're grateful for. Maybe you're religious. Spend it on prayers. Spend it planning your day. Just spend it in silence, focusing on good quality habits. The moment I first get out of bed, I sit on my bed and I meditate. The next 20 minutes 
of your day should be simplicity. Plan your day out, but don't make it super, super complicated. It makes it hard to follow, and it makes you start overthinking and less likely want to do it. And then you procrastinate. Plan your day out, but do not make it complicated. You see, my day, when I first wake up, I just go meditating for 10 minutes. I then just gratitude journal. I write 10 things I'm grateful for for 10 minutes. Then I plan my day, you know, my goals, what I want to get done. I start focusing on what the things I want to get done and what I want to do. And then the last 20 minutes should be significant, where you take action, where you actually start putting in action the what you just planned out of your day. So after I've sat down and I've planned my day out, what I'm going to do, I then go and actually do it. So say, for example, my goal for waking up earlier, I want to be healthier. I was, when I first wake up, I'll be meditating, gratitude journaling, viewing this time as reflection in silence, and then I'll plan out my day, what I want to do. Okay, I want to be more healthy, so I'm going to go cook myself a healthy breakfast, that's non-processed foods, and then go do it. Go do what it is you want to do. Maybe you want to be more productive, so go read that book. Go listen to that podcast, learning about that thing you want to improve in. Maybe it's become more physically healthy, so you start exercising, a light walk or a light jog first thing in the morning. This is the 20-20-20 rule. Incredibly helpful, and it's helped me a huge amount, especially with overthinking. Oh, I want to get up early. I want to do well. I want to be productive. And then I don't, and I oversleep. Planning all this, doing this first thing in the morning, first 20 minutes, silence. Next 20 minutes, simplicity, planning. And then the last 20 minutes, significance, taking action. Genuinely helped me stay and wake up consistent and wake up productive. And the last thing I recommend to waking up feeling energized, a early, good, productive morning routine is something known as the law of magnification. Focus on the positive aspects first thing in the morning. It's going to be hard at first. It's going to be really hard getting up consistently. But you don't have to start with 6 a.m. You can start with 7 a.m. You can start with 8 a.m. if you're waking up at like 12 p.m. And when you wake up, focus on the positives. You know what? I woke up in time. Yes. I'm going to get some meditating done. Yes. I'm going to plan out my day. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to read this book about business. I'm going to go to the gym today. I'm going to eat more healthy. Yeah. And then the last, last 20 minutes of that, that section, significant, take action. Get up and do it. I'm going to go up. I'm going to go on a light walk, light jog outside, come back, cook some healthy food, and then I'm going to read that book, and then I'm going to go out to the gym later. Focusing on the positive aspects of your day, of your morning, gives you a great sense of life satisfaction. And it makes you feel like you've actually had a productive morning. So you're not getting up at 6am and doing nothing. You see, that's the thing that people make the mistake of. That's what I used to. I get up at 6am and feel like I'm, oh, I got up early, yes! And then I wouldn't do anything, and I'd just scroll on my phone until 8 a.m. 8 a.m., and then I'm like, oh, well, I still feel bad because I haven't done anything. It's not just waking up early. It's actually doing something that's productive that gives you a sense of life satisfaction, that you've just done something accomplishing, that you earned waking up early, and you made it feel good. It's not just the waking up part. It's what you do afterwards. I hope things have been good, and I hope this video helped you out. And I would be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop up in the corner here. Because this video could help you out as well. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah. Seven Broom Gifts.